Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. What a beautiful day the Lord has blessed us with and hope we'll go about today and share the love of God and the, His promise of salvation and His soon return with every person that gives us an opportunity to do so. I want to speak to you this morning from St. John chapter 12. Look at two verses, verse 25 and 26. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Now, he that loveth his life or he that hateth his life. What he's talking about there, there are people that love the life they have down here so much that Jesus has no part in it. Or if he has any part, it's only after they've done whatever they wanted to do. But the person that will put God first, in other words, put his life in second place, and don't seek after the things of the world, but want to please God more than pleasing himself in the world, that's the person that hates his life and the person that will gain eternal life. And you see, if any man serves me, God said we must serve him. A lot of people think that the people that are involved in church work are the ones called to serve God and work and, and, and things like that. But you know what? Every person that is born again and washed in the blood of Jesus Christ is called to be a servant of God and called to be a disciple of God. It's not just the people like a pastor or a music minister or a Sunday school teacher. It is every born again believer. And you say, well, how can that be? Hey, God called each and every one of us. When he saved us, he called us. And, and maybe it's not to preach in a church. It might not be to teach a Sunday school class. But you know, God puts you where you're at today, working, helping, whatever your calling may be as far as what you do for a living, that you may serve those that are there, that you may witness to those that work beside you every day, that work in that office where you're at, or come to see you because you maybe are a dental assistant or a, or a nurse at a doctor's office. And the people that come in there, God put you there to serve him, to work for him, that you may share the love of God with the people that come in there. It's not just those that go to church on Sunday that work in a classroom or preach behind a pulpit. But maybe you're where you're at today because God has placed you there and put that call upon your life to do whatever it is you're doing for, the, for, a, for a living, that you may serve him there. So think about that. The world is ready and needs Christ today. If we've ever seen a time in our world that needs God, it is in the day, day in which we're living. And the Bible said that in the last days, perilous times will come. Well, folks, they're here. And this world needs to hear Jesus Christ. So listen, today, today, wherever you may be, working, enjoying some uh, good times, maybe on vacation, there will be an opportunity for us to share the love of God and the saving grace of God and the forgiveness of God. And let's don't waste that opportunity to share Jesus Christ with those that we meet today because he has placed us where we're at to do that, to serve him and to share the love of God. And I pray that we will all do that. I challenge you. I challenge myself. Let's share God today with at least one person. May God bless you.